Hi everyone, Head Naturalist Clinton here. Uh, today we're going to check out Fringed Gentian Bog here on Firmoy Road. Uh, check out the new boardwalk um, and see what we can find. Uh, we're in the middle of May here, so things are just starting to get going here in the Northwoods. Um, so let's hop on the boardwalk and see what we can find. So as we're standing and listening, a boreal chickadee calling in this group of black capped chickadees. There's a hermit thrush going and a blue jay that's pretty agitated. Goldwing warbler. One of the little baby squirrels that are nesting in the sawwet box uh, is on the boardwalk. on the trail here a little bit and if we look just down here you can see a little wood frog buddy nice mask they're just about done singing here in the bog pretty soon we're going to start noticing tadpoles are coming out of our little roadside ditches but this is a little one so non-breeder but still pretty cool and always with our wood frogs in the bog we want to check their backs because we have a really cool variety of wood frog with a bright white stripe down the back. This one doesn't have it, but the white striped ones are really special. The Maslinai subspecies, which is only a northern subspecies. It's found in the mountains or up in Boreal Canada. So we'll keep our eyes out for those as we're walking on the trail. But wood frogs, one of the many things you'll find walking along the trail. All of our trails are marked with the orange flagging you see there on the right. But something important to know is that we've got some signage up. All of these signs were made by our wonderful board member, volunteer extraordinaire, Ruben, uh, and he put them all in. As we're walking through the bogs like this, um, there's a lot of really familiar species. So if you come up, if you want to get off trail, number one, as you can see, the mosquitoes are already out uh, and buzzing. Um, but there's a few really easy plants to identify just side of the uh, side of the path. This is our good friend Labrador tea. And if we take a look at Labrador tea, really leathery upper side and that fuzzy orange underside, uh, sort of found all over um, in open pockets in these bogs. Not everywhere, but in the open pockets. And when we look down and in through, we'll often find other things like this here, snowberry. Wonderful, wonderful little plant grows along in these long, viney routes throughout the understory here. You can see it kind of going back in there. And it's a little bit different than uh, our cranberries. Cranberries have a pointed, sharp leaf. These have a nice round leaf. And usually you don't find cranberries in a closed bog like this, usually in more open bogs. Let's see what else is down the trail. So this is a really crazy thing. This looks like a really fuzzy elm saw fly. Not a fly, not a bee, not a wasp. Something closely related. Wow, what a cool one. I've never seen this thing before. Awesome, we'll set it back. Oh, cool. Let's see if you can come and have a look at this. So gold thread is our shiny little three-leaved buddy right here. Not a clover, not related to the clovers, which are legumes, but uh, gold thread is named for the root systems. The base of the root system or the start of the root system um, has a really nice golden sheen. We're not gonna dig them up though, and please don't. Um, <laughs> whenever you see plants like this, of course, we do wanna leave them and respect them and let them be where they are. Um, but these will get bright white little flowers, an awesome little find, and you don't always get to see them this well. This is a nice cluster. The understory of this bog is just loaded with club mosses. Down here, bent down low along the trail, we'll find things like club mosses. This is bristly club moss, and all of those yellow tan bits we're seeing here. See here, 
those are all where all the spores are produced and depending on where you are in the season sometimes they're loaded up with spores where if you rub them they'll just have a yellow dust throughout the year these ones though these are all past old from last season Oh, cool, come look at this. So this is what we were really hoping to find on our little start to this trail, is this. And this is a seed head, seed pod of an orchid, and not just any orchid, but probably one of our most common orchids in the bog or in any of the bog properties right on the trails sometimes. Um, this is Pink Lady Slipper. And if you look right down here at the bottom, it's just starting to come up. Just starting to come up. Again, one of the most, these little leaves coming in here. Again, one of our most common orchids in the bog, um, right off of the boardwalk at Warren Nelson Bog. Um, last year we counted 212 individuals. <sighs> awesome. So Pink Lady Slipper, I was really hoping to see how far along they were. Um, sometimes we'll have them blooming, maybe even this early, but most of the time not. Um, back in these bogs, it gets a little cool, stays a little cool. Um, something that's not so cool, all these mosquitoes <laughs> that are out. Uh, so we're gonna make our way back to the trailhead. If you do wanna come and, and hop on the trails, uh, mud boots are good. Like I said, bugs are not so great in there, but of course we know that they're great for our birds. Lots of warblers singing back in there. Until next time, we'll see you guys in the barn.